Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Honey Mamas. These are truffle bars. Um, I have a birthday cake, a Peruvian raw. This is a limited edition cherry hazelnut and then a chocolate cake. So I bought one of these at the Fresh Market, the birthday cake. The birthday cake was $3.77 at the Fresh Market. Why were they double that at Whole Foods? Is that they, right? Yeah, that's what they were. Okay, $3.77 at the Fresh Market, $6.49 each at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, crazy. Crazy enough. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't get that at all. Um, they had other flavors at the Fresh Market. They had other flavors at Whole Foods. I just was not interested in them because uh, one I know right off the bat, one of them, it seems like, was lavender. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to buy any floral. We don't like floral things in our food. And so I'm not going to buy anything that says lavender. And, um, and then there was another flavor that um, they had. I don't remember what it was, but the, I bought the ones that sounded interesting to me. Uh, so they just know if these aren't your speed, they might have something for you too. Uh, this is a blondie truffle bar, and this is the only one, or blonde, blondie. Uh, this is the only one that's blondie. The other ones are cocoa. Uh, paleo, no refined sugar, gluten, dairy, or soy. Keep refrigerated. So that's the thing about all these is like in Whole Foods, they're back in the refrigerated section like where you would get um, the other refrigerated bars around the yogurt in that, that's where they are. Um, it says this one, birthday cake, it says coconut, raw honey, vanilla, and rainbow sprinkles. Uh, it says they are made by Nectar Foods in Portland, Oregon. It's at uh, honeymamas.com. You keep them refrigerated. We've had them in our refrigerator. Um, it says made while dancing to great music. I like that. Um, no preservatives or stabilizers. Three servings in the bar is 129 calories for a third. Okay, so there's three little, little bars. So each one of those is 129 calories. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this one. That's a different texture than I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but they're very soft. Mm -hmm. Nice texture. Nice flavor. I actually like the flavor of that quite mm -hmm. a bit. It's uh, a lot of coconut, though. We like coconut. Yeah, but I like coconut. Mm -hmm. but, but it's primarily, what I get is a coconut and like a vanilla flavor. Yes, that is what you got. Yeah, but it's very good. Very sweet. Um, I like it very much, too. Uh, it's funny that we went to Whole Foods first. So I've had the three bought. But then I went to the Fresh Market and saw this one. It's funny that Whole Foods did not have this one. Now, they might normally carry it, yeah. and they might have been out of it. But I really like the flavor of that, and you actually get, you're left with little pieces of coconut in your teeth. Um, so you do need to know that, that it says coconut on there first. That's because that's what you get mainly. Yeah. But I like it very much, and you're right. The, the texture of it's very soft. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very easy to eat. It looks like it would almost be like health bar texture, like a denser chew, but it's mm -hmm. not. It's really soft, almost like a cake or bread. Yes, or I, I like that really quite nice, a bit. Really nice chew. Um, this. Now the rest of these are like cocoa. Yes. Kind of base, which is a little scary. Okay. Sometimes they can go too dark. I'm sure there's a way that people open these, but there is a sticker on the back. Okay, so this is a cocoa truffle bar, like Kevin said. Peruvian raw, so Peruvian cacao, raw honey, and sprouted almonds. So cacao, honey, almonds. Um, it says 118 calories for a third, yeah, for so one, the, yeah, 118 calories. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. The first ingredient is the raw honey. Oh, okay. And then the almonds and then the coconut oil, and then the cacao powder. But then it also has Himalayan pink salt and vanilla extract. Again, I love the texture. It mm -hmm. almost melts on your tongue. That's how soft it is. And I like it that it's cold. Mm -hmm. The cold, I like the first one because it had that cold texture, that cold uh, feel on your tongue. Mm -hmm. That is a little dark. 
I do uh, get the salt. Yeah, you get the salt and the cocoa is what I taste mostly. I don't really get the honey flavor, but it is a sweet, a sweet bar. It's just not. Exactly. So honey. it's mixed in there well enough to where mm -hmm. you don't know that it's honey. Right. Um, it is a little dark chocolate bitter though. Yes, it is dark, but it has so much sweet sweetness. Mm, it's enjoyable. It is very enjoyable. Yeah. Yes, I, I like that quite mm -hmm. about. And you still get the texture of like the nuts and the mm -hmm. coconut. Oh yeah, you absolutely uh, get the almonds in there. Mm -hmm. um, they're they're little bit. Yeah, you can see them all through there. Yeah, I, when I have a close up picture at the end of the video, uh, you'll be able to see them. But they're teeny tiny pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I like that one too. Yep. Yeah. It Nothing almost looks like a fig bar, doesn't it? It does. But it doesn't taste or have no. anything to do with figs. It, it kind of reminds you of that color and texture. I did get that off real easy without cutting it. The <laughs> first one was like stuck. That that birthday one was stuck. Which is a good thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, now this is a limited edition one. So I don't know how long it's going to be out or how long it was already out. And, you know, and I just happened to, to get it. Um, it looks I, just like the last one. I will say one um, thing, it is hard to read the expiration date because the expiration date is on this clear tag that they do put on there. And it's it's a clear tag with black and it's, it's, I mean like right now, I literally, I can see that it says, I think it says December 17th, 2023. I think that's when it expires very very hard to read them so this is the cherry hazelnut dark cocoa raw honey hazelnuts bing cherries and flake salt yeah. it's 122 calories so this is the highest one so far I you can think. see the little white piece of salt on there yeah see that you can really see it there mm -hmm. isn't that good it's mm -hmm. like the best one <laughs> so far. Why would that be limited edition? I don't know because it's awesome. It mm -hmm. does do a little bit on your fingers though. That's wonderful. That is so good. That so cherry sweet. is really nice. They're chewy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get a little piece of cherry in there and they get mm -hmm. a little texture. I got in and my- And the salt's nice too. In my one little square, I had two very distinct chewy pieces of cherry. Mm -hmm. The flavor is exceptional yeah it's got a darker chocolate but you cannot tell it at all no because, because it's so, it's so sweet. yes it's very very sweet yeah, and it's very awesome. very cherry yeah um i would eat that like any day i love that too and it, it like i said it's limited edition i hate that when that happens because i don't know how long it's going to be out they should always make that one i don't know why they would make that one edition because it's so good okay this one see it wants to let's see Oh, if I go from the other way, it doesn't do that. I'm getting the hang of it. I guess the more, the more of these you eat. You the, figure it out. You figure it out. Okay. One of these in the box, I think the birthday one. There's like, there's nothing in the box here. Oh, no, it did. Okay, because I thought there was nothing in here. I was going to say, one of them said, let's do this again sometime. That's what it says on the inside. Okay, so they all say that. Uh, this one is the chocolate cake. Dark cocoa, raw honey, toasted pecans, and coconut. Well, we like pecans. Uh, 123 calories. So which one was the highest? This one then? What was the birthday one? 129. 129. Okay, so the birthday one was the highest calorie for one piece. Um, honey is, once again, the first ingredient. That That's you their sweet one. Yeah, okay. I want this one. I like that chocolate flavor no, too. I was going to say, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. and the only one I, I probably, the only one I personally would not buy again probably is the Peruvian Raw. Cause it's a little darker chocolate you get a little bit of that more bitter chocolate flavor the chocolate cake is not doesn't seem as bitter does it that did not mention salt on the front you get salt though but i'm getting salt mm -hmm. i'm getting chocolate and i'm getting salt yeah. and the chocolate is is a different flavor chocolate than the other ones mm -hmm. uh because the the one before it had so much cherry 
Um, and the Peruvian raw was a darker color. Yes, off. this seems sweeter. It does, and I actually taste a little hint of the honey in there too. Um, like it tastes like I've had honey, a little, little drop of honey on my tongue. Right. Well, and, and you know what? I'm glad we didn't get the lavender because we truly mm -hmm. don't like floral on our food. And it would have been strong. It would have been because they did a great job with every other one. Yep. So I'm sure if you like that, you'll probably really, that's one you'll want to look for. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sure the lavender is going to be as strong as that cherry was. Mm -hmm. So, but I agree with Kevin. Somebody has to come in last place. That's just life. And it's going to be the Peruvian roll yeah, for me. It's a little I, too dark for me. Now, if you like that darker, bitter cocoa kind of flavor, I think you'll love it. Yeah. I didn't, I, I would eat it, but it's just not one. I would always gravitate towards my favorites. And I think my favorites might be different than yours. Mine, a hundred percent, is the the cherry. cherry. That's number one. Yes, that's yeah. for both of us. But now, what's your number two? That's the, the chocolate cake. That's mine too. Yeah. And then, <laughs> I'd, then I'd get the birthday cake, and then, yeah. like I said, I wouldn't get the other one. Yeah. So cherry hazelnut and chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. um, Super good. Really good. And you know, I, I didn't know what to expect when we opened these. I did not. I, you just sometimes you don't know what things are going to look like and because this had a round front I thought it was going to be like a round disc of chocolate. In there. I thought it was going to be a hard chocolate. Yeah. Because uh, it says uh, truffle bar usually that means like a creamy a creamy but chocolate. But that's soft. It's very very soft. So yeah. these are very very soft. Yeah. So I don't know why because I was kind of expecting uh, I was expecting a filled bars. Because I it, when you see dark cocoa, I don't know. When I see anything dark, I immediately think very snappy. Yeah. And but these are so much better than what I envisioned. Oh, yes. Me too. Me too. Yes. I'm very, very happy with these. I don't know that I've seen these at other stores. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of... Whole Foods and, and the Fresh Market is kind of, it's they're more expensive stores. I mean, that's just the way it is. And I don't know that Walmart even sells these. I've never seen them at Walmart. No, not that I can say. Or even, a, I'm thinking the Kroger. Have you seen them at Kroger? No, have you seen them at Target? Don't remember them. So you're going to have to go a little somewhere a little bit more expensive to get them. But... If they, you go to their website, they might have a, a product locator. They you know. might. Uh, I, 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 I definitely think they're worth getting them. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you at the end. And thanks for watching.